So proteins are formed, they're polymers of amino acids that are linked together by something called a peptide bond. This peptide bond is formed by a condensation or dehydration type of reaction. In other words, a, a water molecule is going to be removed in order for this to happen. So like I said, this is called a polypeptide when a whole bunch of these come together. Now a peptide bond looks like this. We've got the amino end of one of our amino acids. We have our C that has our R group attached. Then here's where our carboxyl end would be. But you can see instead of there being an OH, we have it bonded to the amino group of the next amino acid. This bond right here is your peptide bond. Okay, That's going to be our linkages between our different amino acids. Now, as you can see here, we have expulsion of our water group. In order for this bond to form, we needed to lose that OH group that would have occurred at the end. And we also lose one of the H's off of our N group. So we're, uh, we're getting rid of a water molecule in order to form a peptide bond. Now, in order to break a peptide bond, you would go through a reaction process called hydrolysis. That's where you add water in and it can dissolve a protein. Obviously, this is a little bit harder to do than it just sounds like because if it was just water dissolving proteins, then you and I wouldn't be alive right now. So as long as you know that the formation of polypeptide involves dehydration or condensation and that a hydrolysis is going to be the opposite of that, you should be okay as far as proteins are concerned.